Hey there, Spirit Proton Pack fans. This is Aaron, and I wanted to show you a little project I've been working on. Um, a very common question is, hey, I got a uh, 1984 Spangler wand, and I want to hook that up to my Spirit Pack, and how do I make the electronics in the Spirit Pack work with this? And until now, the answer has been, well, there's no really easy way to do that. I mean, you can relocate the buttons off the Spirit wand and, and do a few other things, or you can do a full electronics replacement and use, like, some aftermarket kit like a GP Star or a Ninja Tunes or the Ghost Lab 42, and they've got a whole bunch of things. A lot of those solutions are pretty expensive. Um, so I think a lot of people just want something pretty inexpensive that can just turn on and off the factory lighting when the wand is on and off. So that's what I've gone ahead and done here. And how I did it is you've got the uh, factory spirit electronics right here. This is just part of it. You know, this is the, uh, the upper cyclotron LEDs and then the logic board and the uh, factory AAA or AA power pack, three of them, and the speaker. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and basically hooked up this Arduino microcontroller and a current sensor to this board. And all it really connects to the board is for power, and then there's just one wire that goes into the little factory plug here, and that just basically is the power button, right? So this microcontroller can tell this, hey, turn on, turn off. And this is just a stock 1984 wand, right fresh out of the box. And what I did was I took the, um, the factory little battery uh, sled that they give you, and I just 3D printed three little fake double A's and basically hooked up wires to the end of this. So now you have you know power wires that come out of this. This way, this is powered by the same power source that the pack is powered by. So it's all one place, and this is what makes the magic work. So let's go ahead and just demo this. If you power this wand up, let's go ahead and do this. And I'm going to set the power level max and power it up, and let's watch the spirit electronics. You can hear it, and it turned on, and now the cyclotron on the spirit pack is also going. If you turn this off, you can hear the spirit pack shuts down with it. And it also works in the same form as, uh, you know, for the, the uh, idle power down and all of that. So you can see it powered back up again. We turn this one down. You know, we can fire. That doesn't do anything on the pack. And then you shut it off. And then the pack will shut down. So I thought this was overall a pretty slick solution. I will be working on a nice little circuit board and a package that will have these devices and the battery set up and everything available hopefully hopefully soon, but I don't know how long this is all going to take. But I just thought I would share this because I thought it was pretty exciting and basically proving that you can do this um, and it's not terribly complicated. Um, additionally, what I'll have is on the Arduino, I'll have an output to drive some new power cell LEDs or cyclotron LEDs. So if you want to just use a 1984 wand with your own custom pack and not use the Spirit Electronics, you could do that too. But you'd be using all the audio in this because I'm, I'm not going to mess with building my own audio circuit. Again, if you want to have a full solution that's really well integrated, there are so many awesome third-party things out there already, but I wanted to make something that's going to be cheap and, well, not cheap, but pretty low cost and accessible to people who just want to lash this wand up, not mod the heck out of everything, and have it work. Um, so, you know, thanks for watching, and I guess we'll go from there.